Hello everyone and welcome back to today's analysis. Now for the 54th episode I'm going to analyze none other than Michael Myers, the main antagonist of the Halloween franchise. One of the most iconic horror villains ever created. Even though I'm aware that I did the same thing in both the 10th and the 22nd episodes, this episode is focused on his counterpart from the 2018 timeline, compromising on Halloween, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. And I want to thank to all my subscribers for reaching the number of 300 by now. And so I'm, this episode will focus on this version of Michael and his journey from an average child with a normal life to the sadistic serial killer he ultimately became. Now it for Adu, let's dive in. The backstory of this Michael Myers is pretty much identical to the other two versions I analyzed. Being born in Haddonfield, Illinois in 1957 and killing his own older sister Judith Myers in the Halloween of 1963 when he himself was, was only 6 years old, resulting him being imprisoned in the Smith's Grove Sanitarium for the next 15 years and being taken care by Dr. Sam Loomis. However, much like the other two versions, Michael managed to escape in the Halloween of 1978 and went through a killing spree throughout Haddonfield desiring to kill one person, Laurie Strode, his long-lost sister, Cynthia Myers. And much like the other two versions, this version of Michael has failed as well. However, in this timeline, Michael was put to jail for the next 40 years, and eventually managed to escape in the Halloween of 2018, when he went through a new killing spree in order to kill Laurie Strode, as well as to end her bloodline, and managed in the process to kill both her daughter, Karen Nelson, as well as her son-in-law, thus resulting in his own grandniece. Alison Nelson to becoming an orphan, and Michael managed to escape <laughs> and remain in hiding into the sewers of Hanonfield. However, by the Halloween of 2022, as 40 years have passed since his last massacre, a new person will enter his life, a possible successor, Corey Cunningham, the boyfriend of Alison Nelson, who was accused of killing an innocent boy that he was babysitting. As not only did this accusation cause Corey to develop some sort of psychotic tendencies, they ultimately brought him in line with Michael Myers, and for a time Michael did treat Corey as an apprentice, as he wished to pass on his legacy to him. But I don't think it's necessary in this episode to wonder if Michael Myers is evil, as this version of him is as pure evil as the other two counterparts. However, this version of Michael too has a dark, better dark moment, as he spared an innocent baby in the Halloween of 2018 after he killed the grandparents. However, if he did spare the baby out of genuine care or pragmatism for the fact that killing an infant won't bring him any joy given the fact that babies can defend themselves like kids, teenagers and adults can, all of these are completely unknown. But nevertheless, it could be argued that he did a good and kind thing out there. And however, even this thing doesn't entirely excuse Michael from all the horrible things he's doing. And at the end of the day, his attempted apprenticeship in a way Corny has proved to be a disaster, as Corny turned on him in an attempt to become the new Michael Myers by force. However, Michael eventually tracked him down and killed him, and tried to kill Laurie one last time, before she finally managed to kill him alongside with her granddaughter. And thus, Michael Audrey Myers finally passed away on October 31st, 2022, at the age of 65, and his body was shredded by the people of Haddonfield, finally leaving all the decades he spent tr trying to kill Laurie in vain, and freeing the town of Haddonfield from his clutches once and for all. So in the end, who was Michael Myers? He was nothing more but a simple person who had, who destroyed his own life out of sadism. A, ma a monster that would do anything and sacrifice everyone and everything just to kill one person. And a monster that could easily be called as one of the most iconic villains ever made in horror history. Thanks for watching everyone. Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe and have a nice day. I've run from you. I have chased you. I have tried to contain you. I have tried to forgive you. I thought maybe you were the boogeyman. No. You're just a man who's about to stop breathing.